So, I'm now in the middle of my second bad experience of van life in, in about two weeks. So it's 11.30 p.m. on a Thursday night. Um, I went out to a, a secluded area uh, in the countryside of Peak District. And when I say secluded, I mean secluded. Um, parked there, watched the sunset. Uh, I was laid in bed watching a bit of Queer Eye on Netflix. The next minute, there was a loud bang on the side of the van. Um, so I stepped out of the van and again I was in the middle of nowhere so there was no lights on, it was pitch black couldn't see anything or anyone and um, I got my uh, phone out with the uh, light on it and uh, shone it around all around the van and uh, it turns out somebody's egged the side of my van uh, I've not seen it in the light yet to see how bad it is, but I'm going to show you. Now, that might sound funny. Uh, if it had been some kids that had done it or something, or, you know, a practical joke or something. However, when I said I was in the middle of nowhere, I was in the middle of the moors on a path on, on a road that's not accessible by normal vehicles. The only vehicles I've ever seen on that road are Land Rovers and uh, off-road motorbikes. You have to go through uh, two cattle gates because there's uh, cattle graze in there. I've been going to this spot for... I've been going to this spot for years. Uh, seven or eight years. Never had any issues staying there. Uh, I don't stay there reg too regularly. Anyway, tonight I'm out there and this happens. And I uh, didn't see anybody around, couldn't see anybody. Again, you can see for miles from this spot and you can't... It's just not somewhere people would go. This that late at night, who would be carrying eggs in the middle of the countryside that late at night? There wasn't another person or... Uh, camper or van or tent or anything for miles it, it's not that kind of place there would be nobody in that area at that time of night until tonight where somebody's there with an egg or eggs now I've got a few theories about this either it's somebody that knew I was there I did post a picture on Instagram of where I was but it wasn't obvious to the un untrained eye where I was. It was a just a photo of the van and the sunset. So either somebody's seen that picture and come out there to try and be funny, or to be a twat actually, um, quite possibly. Uh, or maybe a landowner that doesn't, oh, but, well not a landowner because it's not owned by anyone. It's not, it's like public land, so I don't understand why Maybe, the, maybe somebody in a local house didn't want me staying there and just decided to walk out with some eggs and get rid of me. I'm not sure. Anyway, I, uh, I drove off uh, to see if I could see anybody. Obviously turned all my lights on and stuff to see if anybody was around and uh, I couldn't see anyone. Uh, I then drove around a bit. There we go. I then drove around a bit to see if anybody was around, uh, waited for a little while to see if anybody was there, nobody around. Uh, I've just pulled into this petrol station, uh, it's taken me about 15 minutes to get to civilization from this spot where I was. Well, when I say civilization, I'm in an area of Sheffield that's not very civilised. Oh, you can't really see that, basically. 
egg on the roof and side of the van. Splashed all into my wing mirror. It's just some big egg. Fucking wankers. Why would somebody come out there? Out there, man. I wish you could see this place. Why would somebody come all the way out there just to fucking egg my van? It must be somebody I know thinking they're funny. It must be somebody who knows who I am thinking they're funny or trying to be a twat. I've been going to that spot for years and there's not a soul goes there. No, I've never, ever, ever, ever seen another van or anything, anybody stay there overnight, ever. It's a quiet place, and all of a sudden, tonight... I mean, I can imagine, even if even if it was somebody that threw a stone at my van, there's stones around there, I can imagine if some little scally had been walking past and thought it'd be funny to throw a stone at my van, which is what I thought it was originally, but a fucking egg. That's like premeditated. Who would, who would go up there, walk up there, because you wouldn't be able to drive up there, who would walk up there and throw a fucking egg? This is ridiculous. It's, again, this is the second time in in a, in a week or so that I've had to move on late at night from a spot. This is the kind of thing that that makes van life not worth it. Makes it makes it awkward. Makes it hard work. I've got to be at work in the morning, and now I'm just in a petrol station in in in, 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 in Sheffield, just because somebody's fucking thinks it's funny. I just can't get over it. Can't I can't get over it. Again, this place is in the middle of fucking nowhere. And the cattle the cattle gates, there's two cattle gates going up one 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 way. Obviously just in case one gets left open or something, I don't know, but there's a a gate to let vehicles through and then a gate to let passengers through. Uh, well passengers. Foot foot passengers. Foot pedestrians. I feel like ped pedestrians is the word I was looking for. I want to let pedestrians through, and both pedestrian gates were left open. So it seems like somebody's walked all the way up there to throw a fucking egg at my van. Just can't get over it. I wish I had all night to wait there and just go look for him. But again, all they have to do is fucking bob down and I'd never see him. They could just sit there. I'm so annoyed. Cowards, man, cowards. If this if this is somebody who's watching this video that thought this is funny, you're not fucking funny at all. It's not funny. Throw, throw an egg at me. Throw an egg at me in public in, in in the daytime. Throw an egg at me. Get it in my face and everything. I'm not bothered. That would be funny. You know what I mean? But fucking wait until mid middle at night almost when I'm just about to go to sleep and throw an egg at my van in the middle of the countryside trying to freak me out or something. Wankers, man, wankers. Can't get, can't believe it. You're not putting me off living in my van, though. Nobody's gonna put me off that. It's just these bad experiences that people don't talk about. It's all glamorized again, isn't it? You know what I mean? If I'd have had Alice with me, I'd have fucking. I don't know what I would. I don't know what I would have done. I don't know what I would have done. I wouldn't go up there with Alice anyway. Although me and Alice have stayed up there before. That wouldn't have been funny at all, would it? If me and Alice had been up there tonight and somebody was fucking trying to scare the shit out of us. Or trying to scare the shit out of her. You're not funny. Not funny at all. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching this and... Uh, Don't let the bastards fucking grind you down. Sorry for swearing, not sorry for swearing. So, um, since recording the first part of this video, I um, did a bit of digging about the local area, and it turns out there's an outdoor pursuits um, centre. Probably, like, maybe a ten-minute walk from where I was. Um where they have youth groups staying. Now, everybody in that 
outdoor pursuits building was still awake, the lights were going on and off and all that kind of thing. I just think it's a bit too much of a coincidence that, um, you know, that, 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 that there was eggs. <laughs> if it had been stones, I would have understood it. You know what I mean? If it had been somebody throwing stones, it would have been different, but nobody carries eggs around and it just happens that they were staying in that, there was a youth group staying there. So anyway, I phoned the company and I said, have you got a youth group staying there at the minute? They said, yeah. So I was like, well, I've just had my vehicle uh, vandalised. I know vandalised is probably a strong word for uh, having your vehicle egg, but it still is vandalism, isn't it? And they said, oh, no, it won't be us, won't be us. So anyway, I talked her through it, and she just kept denying it and denying it denying it. She went and asked if anybody was up. They were all still awake at, like, midnight. Um, but apparently none of them had been, uh, been out with eggs, of, of course. It's so just coincidence. <laughs> I mean, come on. Anyway, I argued... But this, this was, she argued with me, actually. I didn't really argue with her. She was trying to say that it was... She was trying to make out that I was just uh, like some sort of prank caller that I was... She said, this phone call is very strange. I said, well, yeah, I've got better things to do in my uh, evening than the phone random numbers off Google and uh, make up stories. The most feasible explanation is that they were out and about causing a bit of shit. Uh, egging vehicles. Uh, there's no other explanation for it that I can think of. Why somebody would out be out there in the middle of the no middle of nowhere, carrying eggs around with them. Anyway, uh, I told her I was gonna get the police involved, which I probably won't because it's just an egg. I'm not that bothered, but I said it anyway just to uh, try and make a sort of maybe find out who'd done it and get them to say sorry or something or or give them a bollocking or whatever. But no, didn't do that either. And then I said I was going to pay my visit tomorrow morning when I woke up to find out who'd done it. Not going to do that either. I just said that. Uh, I've now <laughs> driven back into Sheffield and I'm now in a co-op car park of all places, which is not my uh, first choice of, of, of uh, van life stopovers, but at least I got... St <sighs> At least I still got to see the sunset and have a chilled night up until that point. Anyway, thank you. Um, I'll speak to you all soon, no doubt. Bye for now.